On this episode of The Bin Chasers, we head to the legendary Montauk, New York, or as the bumper sticker says, the end. I'm Captain Frank Crescitelli. I'm a charter boat captain, a tournament fisherman, and a lure designer. I own a tackle company and a fishing charter business in New York City for 15 years. In fishing, to prove you're the best in the world, you either have to win tournaments or break world records. And I'm ready to do that. I'm gonna use all my resources and all my connections to find the biggest fish in the world. People might think of fishing as fun and relaxing. The level we do it at, it might be fun, but it's far from relaxing. If it was easy, everybody would do it. Now is my turn to match my skills and my lures against the best in the world and see if I can come out on top. To say fishing is my life is an understatement. My life is fishing. I'm Captain Frank Crescitelli, and this is the Fin Chasers. The Fin Chasers is brought to you by Raymarine Electronics. We're heading to Montauk, New York, to host the FCA Redbone Montauk Slam, a tournament that benefits cystic fibrosis, something that's close to my heart for many, many years. And since 2002, I've co-chaired this high-end tournament. It's lots of fun with some legendary blitzes, hopefully in mind. On a pre-fishing day for the tournament, I got to fish with my old friend, Chef Kerry Heffernan, and my new friend, Chef Harold Deedley. Our goal for the day was to have some fun, but in the end, we had to gather some porgies and some bluefish for the Taste of Montauk cocktail party that was brainchild of Brendan McCarthy, my co-chair, that was gonna engage the rest of the restaurants in Montauk that we didn't have a chance to engage in past years. There you go, right like that. Go snap it, pop it, pop it. It's further out. You know, just keep doing it. That's it. That's how you get the fight. Those are Albies? A New York City farmer. That's me, Farmer Frank. Yeah, I got the net out to save everybody's lures. And it went right through the net. From, from the last blue fish.
The Fin Chasers is brought to you by Raymarine Electronics. Don't just go fishing, go hunting underwater. With Raymarine Superior High Fidelity Chirp Sonar Vision, you'll never look at fishing the same again. You're already the predator above the water. Now go find your prey below it. Raymarine. Visit raymarine.com to get in on the action. When you hear the name Buddy Davis, you may think of express and sport fishing boats. But that's not all there is. Buddy Davis Center Consoles are custom built one at a time with the same Carolina flair and tumble home stern that identify a Buddy Davis. Available in 28 and 34 feet and coming soon, a 42 center console. Check them out at dnrboats.com. DNR Boats, New Jersey's leading dealer for over 60 years. Water for me is a backdrop to tell a, a, a story about a family and tell a story about individuals finding love and finding redemption uh, in their lives together. Bob Rich's new book, Looking Through Water, is a multi-generational story about fishing, family, and life. All proceeds go to Project Healing Waters, helping to meet the needs of injured veterans. Available at Amazon and barnesandnoble.com. Every angler knows you can't hook a fish if they don't bite and can't land them if they don't stay hooked. Guide Secret Lures, hand-painted, through-wired, VMC hooks. Professionals in every field use the best tools available. When I'm not cooking, I'm out fishing. And when I'm out fishing, I'm using Guide Secret. Guide Secret, professional grade fishing gear. Designed, built, and tested by the pros. Hi, I'm Hall of Famer Wade Boggs. When I want to hit a home run when I'm fishing, I use Guide Secret. Countless hours spent chasing dreams and forging memories. It's a passion that runs as deep as any ocean and as long as any river. We've all had mentors, and we still have heroes. They spent the time with us to pass it on. Now it's our turn. There's nothing else like it. The people, the places, the fishing of the Northeast. Subscribe to the only magazine that's been covering fishing here every week for 50 years. You'll make discoveries. You learn. You'll see the action. You'll catch more fish. Subscribe to The Fisherman. 29 bucks gets you 38 issues a year and 12 months of premium access to thefisherman.com. Subscribe today. This segment of The Fin Chasers brought to you by Guide Secret Lures. I got a, it's a porgy. I spell hook him. a little pre-fishing for Redbone 2015 in Montauk. I'm here with my old fishing buddy, Chef Kerry Heffernan, and my new fishing buddy, Chef Harold Dieterle of Kin Shop and Perilla in New York City. And Kerry in his new restaurant, Pier 25, Grand Banks of Pier 25 in Manhattan. The only place in Manhattan, believe it or not, that you can have something to eat on the water. It's an island, but there's nowhere to eat, amazingly enough, on the water, especially where you can pull up with a boat. The really good thing about fishing with these guys, whether we catch fish or not, is that we eat good. We ate good all day today, and 
to make a little lemonade out of the lemons that we had today. The, the false albacore were tough. We caught some nice bluefish that we're going to eat tomorrow night at the, we're going to have a, a taste of Montauk dinner to kick off the tournament. But on the boat, only for us, we're going to have a little fresh little porgy. Porgy crudo. Porgy crudo. We got some nice fish here. And we're going to just, we scaled it and gutted it. We're going to do a quick fillet. I think that's the one I caught. Oh, mine was bigger. <laughs> anyway, it's not about how big they are. It's about how sustainable they are. We're not killing any striped bass this year. We're focusing on things like porgy and bluefish that are in plentiful supply and also entirely underrated as uh, table fare. And so Kerry, Harold, and I and a bunch of other chefs in New York City this year kicked off a campaign called Save Our Stripers where these guys decided to take striped bass off the menu. The fish are in trouble until they come back. We removed it from the, the great restaurants of Manhattan and focused, like Kerry said, on a very sustainable, very underrated and very delicious food, fish like porgy. You know, it's amazing that these, these animals eat jigs, even unbaited, the same way you'd fish for a striped bass. So it's exciting to see that something considered more of a bottom feeder or a, even a scavenger is actually quite a predator and fun to catch. Yeah, oh, they fight pretty good. And I mean, when you look at the flesh, it's beautiful white meat. Oh, I think this fish is way more delicious than wild striped bass as well. I would eat this over wild striped bass every day of the week. Absolutely. Uh, uh, the preparations are, are pretty much endless with the porgy. You know, you just need to get the fish of proper size because the small ones can be a little bony. Uh, but when you get a, a you know a nice little a nice little pork chop like this, it's absolutely delicious. And you're always taking the red meat out, right, Kerry? Yeah, I, I remove most of the dark matter. I mean, you talk about freshness. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but the, the translucency of that animal, you can see right through it. Can you see my fingers through there? The the red in between the skin and the flesh has very similar fla uh, flavor to like the bloodline in tuna. Right. right. It's right. very very fishy. It's really it's not desirable. That's why we. That's why we like, to, we like to trim it off. Not only that, it's often where they store some of the you know, toxins and, and, and heavy metals. For example, a big animal like a striped bass or a, an, you know, a larger tuner, that's where you're gonna find the mercury, etc. My suggestion to all you fellow fishermen, everybody needs a fishing friend every now and then. <laughs> if you have a chance, make sure they're great chefs. You'll always eat good, and if you use your brain and kind of Open your mind up a little bit. You can turn any day on the water into a fabulous day. So let's eat. You guys are wonderful. I'm glad you could join me. And tomorrow, all of this friendship is over because we're competing <laughs> against each other. Hey, so you're in trouble. Oh, boy. <laughs> Don't you. go to any of the spots we went to today. <laughs> I, I'm, not sure. I'm not so sure. <laughs> I'm not so sure that's good advice. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, my Lord. Here we are, 2015 FCA Montauk Slam. I'm here with my co-chair and very good friend, Captain Brendan McCarthy. Brendan had an idea this year to change it up a little bit and kind of engage Montauk a little more into this year's tournament. Yeah, and that's exactly, we're uh, really fortunate. Um, we have Scarpettas on the beach um, at Gurney's. Um, they brought a yellow tail. It's amazing. We have um, Salt Box is a new restaurant in town um, this year in, in Montauk. Um, the, the, my favorite always, the Charter House in Salivars, brought a, a crab cake. And, um, we have Carrie Heffernan and, and um, Sam Sifton doing some porgy and fluke. Um, this guy, Harold. Montauk Brewery came, you know, all from awesome. here. Um, uh, this guy, Montauk Mermaid Oysters, um, Mike Grande, amazing oysters. He's growing his own oysters. In this harbor. And they are some of the best I've ever had. And we had. don't have to send them anywhere to clean them out or anything. Oh, They're no. grown yeah. here and we're hard yeah. and eating them right here. They're all local guys, tons of restaurants, tons of local people donated awesome. from marinas. And, and um, yeah, it's fantastic. Really, really So dobby. really, I mean, from, you know, we hear farm to table, sea to table. Right, right. Harold and Kerry fished with me yesterday. We ate some porgy on the boat. 
Some of that porgy is here tonight. Some of the bluefish Fred is here. What are we looking at it right there? Grace. The introduction to the, to the dish is Grace. Tell us what we have from Chef Harold Deedley of Kin Chop and Perilla. Um, so here we have a smoked and jerked bluefish uh, topped with a charred corn tomato salad and garnished with cilantro. Fish didn't have to be sent anywhere to be you know, to purge itself or to be harvested in limited quantities when we can just go out, fish, and then bring it back and share it with our friends and family. And way better than that, these chefs who are so dynamic and they're creating new dishes every day and new ways to prepare truly, truly sustainable seafood that we can enjoy with no guilt, with absolute zero conscious about we're hurting anything. And I gotta tell you, this is awesome. Thanks Thank you so much for coming. We really appreciate it. My pleasure. And hopefully, we're catching something better. The cure persistent fibrosis. That's right. So we're gonna taste a few more dishes and then we get back to the money part, which we need for science. The Fin Chasers is brought to you by. Raymarine Electronics. Don't just go fishing, go hunting underwater. With Raymarine's superior high fidelity chirp sonar vision, you'll never look at fishing the same again. You're already the predator above the water, now go find your prey below it. Raymarine. Visit raymarine.com to get in on the action. When you hear the name Buddy Davis, you may think of express and sport fishing boats. But that's not all there is. Buddy Davis Center consoles are custom built, one at a time, with the same Carolina flair and tumble home stern that identify a Buddy Davis. Available in 28 and 34 feet and coming soon, a 42 center console. Check them out at dnrboats.com. DNR Boats, New Jersey's leading dealer for over 60 years. Water for me is a backdrop to tell a, a, a story about a family and tell a story about individuals finding love and finding redemption uh, in their lives together. Bob Rich's new book, Looking Through Water, is a multi-generational story about fishing, family, and life. All proceeds go to Project Healing Waters, helping to meet the needs of injured veterans. Available at Amazon and barnesandnoble.com. Every angler knows you can't hook a fish if they don't bite and can't land them if they don't stay hooked. Guide Secret Lures, hand-painted, through-wired, VMC hooks. Professionals in every field use the best tools available. When I'm not cooking, I'm out fishing. And when I'm out fishing, I'm using Guide Secret. Guide Secret, professional-grade fishing gear. Designed, built, and tested by the pros. Hi, I'm Hall of Famer Wade Boggs. When I want to hit a home run when I'm fishing, I use Guide Secret. Countless hours spent chasing dreams and forging memories. It's a passion that runs as deep as any ocean and as long as any river. We've all had mentors, and we still have heroes. They spent the time with us to pass it on. Now it's our turn. There's nothing else like it. The people. The places. The fishing of the Northeast. Subscribe to the only magazine that's been covering fishing here every week for 50 years. You'll make discoveries. You learn. You'll see the action. You'll catch more fish. Subscribe to The Fisherman. 29 bucks gets you 38 issues a year and 12 months of premium access to thefisherman.com. Subscribe today. This segment brought to you by Cortland Line. We've come together to catch fish, but our most important mission is to catch a cure for cystic fibrosis. Lou Colazzino, Seco, yes. and Mike Vogel, fisher with Captain Frank Crescitelli. Please go Day fishing. Day one. We started out right out of the gate on fire. We went straight to Gardner's Island. When you get his tail up top, he's got nothing left. <laughs> when you get his tail out of the water, he's finished. That's all I want you to do. Okay, let's go. Nice job. Nice. 
make this work. The neat thing about the FCA Redbone Montauk Slam is just that. It's a slam tournament. So that means you need striped bass, bluefish, and false albacore. And no matter how many you catch of each individual species, you will not win this tournament if you do not catch all three. So you have to put some strategy into play and figure out when is the time to do the thing that every fisherman hates to do, and that's leave fish to find fish. For us, it was the false albacore. We had plenty of those, and then we had plenty of bluefish. But the elusive striped bass lived up to its name, and it was very difficult for anybody in the tournament to put those catches together. This is a really nice long bluefish. In this tournament, it's all about the length, so it doesn't have to be very, you know, heavy, but long. And this is a nice, very long fish. Hold on, guys, I'm coming. He's coming. Get him up. That's your goal. You are dialed in, Michael. A 23 inches. Okay? Yeah. Look. So you can see with the side scan, this is the edge of the beach, and now this is the beach line here. And you, we mark the fish here, and then look on the regular sonar, they show up. This is wild, and a tremendous, tremendous opportunity for us to really see what's happening away from the boat. It's 150 feet away from the boat, so we can see where we're casting, and then see what's under the boat. This is awesome. So we're going to move up to this slick water up here, which is the shallow edge. And then that this volume of water that's coming over dumps into this deeper boulder field. And again, that bait's going to swing right in. They're hanging right on the edge of this seam. Right, see that pocket of water, that little eddy? Right, in, right between the two. Yeah. Right, you want me to throw it? Yes. Right there. Yeah, a little more towards the lighthouse. Okay get it to land in there it, the, uh, the water back there is actually flowing back in towards the lighthouse oh for how long it's a bluefish check them off Fin Chasers is brought to you by Raymarine Electronics. Don't just go fishing, go hunting underwater. With Raymarine's superior high fidelity chirp sonar vision, you'll never look at fishing the same again. You're already the predator above the water. Now go find your prey below it. Ray Marine. Visit raymarine.com to get in on the action. When you hear the name Buddy Davis, you may think of express and sport fishing boats. But that's not all there is. Buddy Davis Center Consoles are custom built one at a time with the same Carolina flair and tumble home stern that identify a Buddy Davis. Available in 28 and 34 feet and coming soon, a 42 Center Console. Check them out at dnrboats.com. DNR Boats, New Jersey's leading dealer for over 60 years. Water for me is a backdrop to tell a, a, a story about a family and tell a story about individuals finding love and finding redemption uh, in their lives together. 
Bob Rich's new book, Looking Through Water, is a multi-generational story about fishing, family, and life. All proceeds go to Project Healing Waters, helping to meet the needs of injured veterans. Available at Amazon and barnesandnoble.com. Every angler knows you can't hook a fish if they don't bite and can't land them if they don't stay hooked. Guide Secret Lures, hand-painted, through-wired, VMC hooks. Professionals in every field use the best tools available. When I'm not cooking, I'm out fishing. And when I'm out fishing, I'm using Guide Secret. Guide Secret, professional-grade fishing gear. Designed, built, and tested by the pros. Hi, I'm Hall of Famer Wade Boggs. When I want to hit a home run when I'm fishing, I use Guide Secret. Countless hours spent chasing dreams and forging memories. It's a passion that runs as deep as any ocean and as long as any river. We've all had mentors, and we still have heroes. They spent the time with us to pass it on. Now it's our turn. There's nothing else like it. The people. The places. The fishing of the Northeast. Subscribe to the only magazine that's been covering fishing here every week for 50 years. You'll make discoveries. You learn. You'll see the action. You'll catch more fish. Subscribe to The Fisherman. 29 bucks gets you 38 issues a year and 12 months of premium access to thefisherman.com. Subscribe today. The Fin Chasers has been brought to you by DNR Boat World. Just stay where you are, on your knees, nice. I will handle the boat. When you see me driving towards it, real, okay? Line of catch. Slack tie, whatever it is. Oh, it's an Albi. Is it? No. Real, 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 real. Okay, now that's his circle. Ready? Now he's going to turn towards you and then you reel now. Real, real. Still out of the water.
end of day one, we had four albies, I think, and five bluefish. So not a bad start to go into day two to try and catch a striped bass and get the slams. Our day one of tournament fishing comes to an end, but tune in next week as we catch up with Captain Anthony Grassi on Fin Chaser 2 and his team and see how they did filling in their scorecard after one day of tournament fishing. Something tells me, with a local like Captain Craig Cantalmo on board, they might have just found those striped bass we couldn't find.